Also tonight, a Metro police officer is in jail after what investigators say they uncovered two years after a young girl's suicide. Ten-year police veteran Francisco Olmos faces multiple felony charges for obstruction of justice. Our crime reporter Steve Jefferson has been digging through court documents all day to explain what happened. Metro officer Francisco Olmos is in hot water for what investigators accuse him of doing more than two years ago. 340 can start from Tundon Rule. Olmos patrols in IMPD's East District, where he's gained a lot of respect among fellow officers and the people he's sworn to protect and serve. This is video from an eyewitness news ride-along with Officer Olmos. His troubles stem from what investigators say he did during the suicide investigation of police explorer Heidi Gatliff two years ago. Court documents say in November 2015, after Olmos and Heidi's father found her dead in the bedroom at home, Olmos asked to use her cell phone. Investigators say that's when the East District officer secretly deleted information from the phone. Olmos, according to the same court documents, denied affection towards Heidi. As detectives searched for a motive for the teen's suicide, they couldn't search her phone due to a passcode lock, something that surprised her father. Back in 2015, even after getting the phone unlocked, technology limited what digital forensic experts could extract from the phone. Now, two years later, IMPD's digital forensic unit can see the 2015 messages between Heidi and Officer Olmos. Investigators say the 31-year-old cop obstructed justice by not only putting a lock on Heidi's phone, but also deleting messages. Police not only arrested Olmos on Thursday afternoon, but Chief Brian Rhodes suspended him without pay and wants him fired. Officer Olmos is here at the Marion County Jail. He's held on a $10,000 surety bond, facing three counts of obstruction of justice and three counts of computer trespass. He goes to court tomorrow morning at 8.30. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll show you the text messages uncovered by investigators. And those are text messages investigators say that Officer Olmos probably counted on no one ever seeing. Back to you in the studio. All right.